Have you ever noticed that your phone, after a period of use, either becomes calmer and faster or turns heavy and its battery drains quickly? The reason is not updates and not the phone model. The reason is that Android treats you as a complete usage pattern. And in this video, I'll explain how this system works, which settings support it, and when you end up breaking it yourself. Android does not work instantly. It works cumulatively, meaning every time you open the same apps at the same time in the same way, the system records a pattern, not a single event. And this is the foundation of everything that follows. When you suddenly change your behavior new apps, different usage, heavy gaming, the system needs some time to reorganize itself. That's why you may notice Temporary lag, slightly higher battery consumption. You disrupted the pattern, so the phone starts relearning. First, the main setting that translates behavior, the core. From settings, battery, background usage limits, adaptive battery, Names vary depending on the phone and Android version. This setting allows Android to give priority to the apps you actually use and suppress apps you almost never use. The real effect, longer battery life, a calmer phone, less heat, not magic, organization. So it's best to keep it enabled at all times. Second, the setting that organizes apps based on that understanding. Settings, battery, background usage limits. After Android understands you, it starts sorting apps. This one is important. This one is occasional. This one is not needed right now, which results in important apps opening faster everything else calming down, the phone feeling like it knows you. Always enable the option. Put unused apps to sleep. The phone will automatically classify apps based on your usage pattern into sleeping apps and deep sleeping apps. You can also manually add eeps to the list or remove them. Third, the mistake I always warn about and even made a dedicated video for Constantly clearing cache, resetting settings, using random cleaning apps. This means you are erasing the learning memory and forcing the system to start from zero. You erase the behavioral memory. So the phone went back to being a child learning from the beginning. Avoid all of this except in cases of absolute necessity. What you need to understand is that Android doesn't guess and it doesn't trick you. It takes your behavior, your consistency, your repetition, and turns them into performance. You're not using a smartphone, you're training it. In the end, if this video helped you understand why your phone changes over time, subscribe to the channel, because what's coming next goes even deeper. And tell me in the comments, do you feel your phone adapts to you or not?